Hi there, my name is Rachel Afton. I'm a science teacher at Howey Community School. I'm also head of year eight and lead teacher in science. Um, I first came across Martin when we had a science day at Eggers uh, where lots of teachers met together to discuss the changes to the science curriculum and to put in place a sort of plan really for what we were going to do. Um, since then I followed Martin on Twitter and have um, followed his Teacher Five a Day as well. Um, it's a great way really for checking on your own well-being and also um, looking after each other. The bit that I've liked most is seeing the photo challenges and how people have kind of worked to um, ensure that they're noticing things that they should be, looking after themselves and spending time with family as well so that they're relaxed and rejuvenated for work. The main bits that I wanted to talk about today uh, were marking to try and give you some ideas for what you can focus on and, and give you some tips and things that I've stolen from Twitter and bits that I've learned along the way. Um, marking takes a significant amount of time and is I think a key stress factor for teachers so anything that we can do to reduce that stress level I think would be really helpful. So the, the key steal that I have from Twitter at the moment that I've really enjoyed has been yellow box marking. We've implemented that in our department and I have to say it's been absolutely brilliant for boys in particular. So you draw a box which uh, is obviously with a yellow highlighter pen. Um, it's very clear to the students where they need to be looking and then the size of the box also indicates how much you want them to write and, and how much they need to put in there. It's great because sometimes you might receive a one word answer when you're expecting three or four sentences and the size of the box shows them exactly what your expectations are. Um, that's been absolutely fantastic and I would uh, challenge you to try it. I'll add some pictures so you can see what it looks like. Um, another thing that I think is really important is clear criteria for students. So one thing in science that students have struggled with um, historically is the long answer question. So it's generally six marks and one, one mark for quality of written communication. Um, so what we've implemented is clear criteria and they start doing these in year seven, uh, continue in year eight and year nine. So when they come across it in year 10 for their exams, actually it's not a big deal when they're faced with that blank space in the exam paper because they know exactly what they need to do to fill it um, and, and to give them some sort of success with that. Uh, I think another thing that we've done at our school, which has been really helpful for everybody, is we have um, marking parties. So we all sit together one evening um, when we need to mark and we bring some biscuits, bring a cup of tea and we just sit and mark together. I think it just makes it more sociable. You can show each other um, responses in books. You can talk about the things that are frustrating you about marking or you can just catch up on your day. But it just means that we're keeping an eye on each other and that you're doing it with somebody else, which I think is a really nice idea. Um, I think that um, another thing that's important is if it's clear from their books that the students haven't understood something, don't be afraid to spend another two or three lessons going over it because if you notice that a significant number of the class haven't understood a key point, you need to go back and there's no point moving on until they've mastered that, that key fact or that key point, so don't be afraid to go over it. I think along the same lines, don't be afraid to just mark key pieces. I think teachers feel the pressure to mark everything and actually that's not beneficial to the students and it's not beneficial to you if you're tired from doing too much. Mark key pieces of work with key feedback for them to respond to and focus on those. Um, I hope that that's been helpful and I hope that there's some key things that you can steal um, and enjoy Teach Five Day. Thank you.